So my name is Svenja Michelle Bele, and I'm a young artist from Berlin. Um, and I got into art when I was actually quite young. My dad used to paint quite a bit, so that got me started. And it was one of my main courses in school. And then I lived abroad for a really long time and I started doing murals and wall paintings and a few canvas works as well for bars and guest houses in the area. Um, so I lived in Southeast Asia for a while and they were kind of inspired by like the people there and the landscapes and all. Um, and they were mostly figurative works. So I used to do um, portraits and landscapes and all that kind of stuff and like faces and um, which is so, so different from what I do now because now it's very abstract. But I feel like I it went from like very realistic more and more kind of towards abstraction the whole time. Well, I guess a big inspiration for my work would be my time in Asia. So um, I talk a lot about the landscapes there and kind of my impression. So it's mostly from memory, but I do have a few photographs that I use for inspiration. Um, and I got very much into thinking about waste pollution and our effect on the environment, which is very visible in Southeast Asia and not that visible over here, I guess. So we kind of forget about it, like trash just goes in the bin and then we don't have to really think about it anymore. But it's not really the same in Southeast Asia because especially in the countryside, people will just kind of have to deal with their own waste and they get a lot of waste from other countries, especially Western countries as well. Um, so I really, I did a big project on that while my first year of college. So I went to college in Dublin, actually. Um, I did my first year at the National College of Art and Design um, and then Corona happened so I had to skip a year so now I'm back in Berlin for a year um, but I'm gonna go back in September to finish my bachelor's which is in fine art specialized on print um, but I did a big project in my second semester on waste pollution um, and that's where I went a bit more abstract for the first time in kind of my art career as well. And I did a few print pieces on waste pollution, very much landscapes and like abstracted landscapes. That kind of led me to what I do now, which is abstract pieces. And I really, really love it because it's a bit more free than if you're doing like uh, naturalistic pieces or stuff. Um, it's still very inspired by landscapes from like the color scheme. So I use a lot of like green, black, brown, white, um, gold, silver, um, kind of natural earthy tones, if that makes sense. And most of my pieces are inspired by that aspect of waste pollution. So all my canvases and wood pieces that I work on are things that I found on eBay or in the streets um, or that other people kind of had left over that were gonna go in the bin. So I work, I tried to work from waste um, and use as little new materials as possible and kind of minimize my own waste through that as well. Even the patterns and stuff. The So the abstract prints are done with Lino ink, which I mainly use because I'm working from home. Um, and I use like a variety of tools to kind of create the little patterns in them. Um, and they do really remind me of kind of like landscapes, maybe from like a far distance or even in very much detail. And they're kind of like rubble and yeah, very small waste bits that you can find. So it's supposed to kind of resemble that. And I work with old newspapers for my backgrounds. Um, and old tissue that I dye myself in a variety of colors. And then I make my own rice paper paste to apply that dyed tissue to the canvases and then print on top of it. For me, at the start of Corona, it was actually quite nice because it was a time where you all of a sudden you had so much time on your hands and you could kind of like, I had so much time for my art, like I've never had so much time for my art. And I thought that was really lovely at the start, but then 
I guess, yeah, as soon as you get to the point where you kind of want to show your art and have people interact with it, that's that that was tough. Like, uh, it was lovely to see that there are virtual spaces to do this. Um, and I did a few virtual exhibitions, which I really, really enjoyed because um, that was my first time really showing my art outside of like my college and like all these kind of things. And but I would really, really love to exhibit in an actual space. So in an actual gallery or just in a window of like shops. So in Berlin, there are a lot of shops that kind of have like opened their window up to artists and you can let them hang some stuff in the window. Um, and I was actually thinking, cause I did a little trial on my own window cause I work on those tissues and I do little prints on, on tissue paper. And usually I apply it to canvas with that rice paper paste, but I was wondering what it would look like if I put it on a window. So I actually tried that on my own window in my room and it looked really cool and like if there is an opportunity in the future where you can put it maybe in a shop window or a gallery window i would love to actually work on the window i don't know because i love that idea of working into the space that we're in like outside on a wall or like in a window of a shop but like where people can really interact with it and they can see the structure because the pieces are actually quite textured because I'm, yeah, because of the tissue paper and it's obviously not perfectly flat on the canvas. So you have these kind of little waves and bumps. Like maybe you can see a little bit here in the back. <laughs> That's the piece I'm working on now. And yeah, it, I think it would be really nice for people to maybe see it or even touch it. Like, I feel like it would be fine to touch my work. I know you're not supposed to touch artwork, but I think for my work, it would be really nice if people had the opportunity to kind of touch maybe a little corner of it um yeah so hopefully there will be a time where i can exhibit an actual space and maybe try out new things in in windows and stuff mm -hmm.